coronavirus. A virus. The coronavirus. From the virus. The coronavirus. The virus. The coronavirus outbreak will present significant challenges. We might be asked to work from home. The president has made a decision to suspend all travel to the United Kingdom. Businesses are in deep trouble. We are going to do whatever it takes. What was once far away now feels very close. We prepare for the worst and work for the best. We're preparing various actions. Nobody expected this. We will do whatever it takes so that we beat it together. So coronavirus has shocked the world and it's changed a lot of things here at Gymshark. And obviously we are trying to do everything we can to maintain normal business and support both the staff and the wider Gymshark community. I have never had as many questions as what I've had over the last few days about how coronavirus is affecting us here at Gymshark. So I thought I would record a quick YouTube video to talk you through everything that has been affected and how we are both supporting our internal staff and our wider Gymshark community. Right now, a lot of things are changing in the world and here at Gymshark, it is no different. As you can see, we're currently in the headquarters and usually about this time, it would be absolutely rammed. But today, it is almost empty. So this time last week, we saw that this was coming and things were changing very, very quickly. So we planned for the vast majority of the Gymshark team to be working from home. We've been working from home all week and it's actually this week that Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister of uh, the UK, has now said that they are very much recommending working from home. So we're going to extend that period of working from home indefinitely. We don't know when it's going to end, but at the moment, the office probably won't get too much busier than this. Usually there's at least 400 people a day knocking around in here. Today there's probably more like 10 and there's a few sort of essential roles here but here at Gymshark we're doing everything we can to stand by the social distancing rules that are being fed to us down from the government because the safety of the Gymshark team is absolutely top of our priority list at the moment. So obviously the headquarters is closed and with that we've got the LC closed which is not ideal but it is what it is. It's home workouts for everyone at Gymshark at the moment. It just made sense to us just to close the gym so that is a little bit of a shame and it's one of the many negatives that come out, out of such a crazy time like this. So the lifting club coaches obviously because they're not going to be working at the lifting club being closed they've been doing a load of different home workouts that everyone can follow along with and do from home so it is really cool. At the moment we're also sit we've got an internal I think it's the 15,000 steps challenge that people are doing where people will walk 15,000 steps, then they'll nominate a few other people in the business to do it, he'll nominate a few other people in the business to do it, and so on, so that's really cool uh, as well. So I'm working from home, the vast majority of people are working from home. So we're currently in week two of working from home. Um, this is my office at home and this is my setup. So I've got my laptop here, I've got my iPad here, which is great. I keep like all my, my list of things to do on my iPad with my calendar next to it, and then on my laptop I've just got Slack, emails and Zoom. I've actually managed to get everything pretty much done that I would ordinarily do, but over Zoom calls and Skype, some phone calls and so on, which is great to be fair, um, and albeit a very uncertain time. I'm literally just not leaving the house, only going out to buy food, uh, been on a couple of runs, walking the dog and whatnot. So keeping myself sort of physically active as well as uh, obviously working on my gym shot stuff is keeping my mind stimulated as well. But yeah, at the moment things are going well. Uh, I'm happy with it. It's certainly hard work and it's certainly different, but I think just, you know, thinking create, creatively, trying to think of different ways to approach and solve problems. It's, it's going well for us. And overall, you know, we're supporting the Gymshark team and the staff as best we can. And at the moment, albeit early days, it's going incredibly well. Obviously, this is sort of only at the very beginning. So things will likely get more difficult as they go on. That's it for me. I'm in a meeting, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we're doing everything we can to support the Gymshark team as much as we possibly can. Gymshark is all about uniting the conditioning community, and that doesn't have to be actually in person, but uniting people online as well. So what we're doing at the moment is we're showing all you guys through our different social channels, a bunch of different home workouts, because I think that's really important. It's something that I'm practicing, doing home workouts every other day, doing a little bit more running, going on walks and things like that. And I think at times like this, where the pressure is high, um, there's a lot of change in everyone's lives, there's a lot of uncertainty and a lot of stress, I think it's really, really important that you maintain your physical health because I think that has a huge, huge knock-on effect onto your mental health. So both internally in terms of the Gymshark staff here, but the wider Gymshark community around the world, we're doing everything we can to continue to promote our core brand values around uniting the conditioning community, bringing people together um, and promoting both physical and mental health. Just wanted to also quickly say here, we've, I've got our, our Facebook and this is something that we've done during the pandemic, during the um, self-isolation. We realized that gyms were closing globally and um, PTs would be struggling for work. 
So what we did is we put out a post and we said, you know, anyone who's a PT and who's struggling, please get in touch with us. We'll pay you an hourly rate. Um, and essentially you will go on our Facebook and do live streams and live stream workouts globally and so that people watching from home can take part and keep mentally and physically fit from at home. So it was a brilliant idea. It wasn't my idea, but it was an incredible idea and it's something that I'm extremely, extremely proud of that we've got behind at Gymshark. And personal trainers are the people that have, you know, help people around the world get back in shape uh, and get into shape. And that makes such an incredible difference and they are in many ways the foundation of the fitness and the conditioning community. So for us, it was really important that we supported these PTs globally. Uh, so thank you to all the PTs that are taking part, that are streaming uh, workouts live. You are helping us. I'm, I've had a, a go at a couple of them. Yeah, it's going incredibly well. And thank you to everyone as well that, you know, is taking part and, and doing everything you can to keep keep physically and mentally fit at home. At Gymshark, we're really fortunate because for the size of our business, we have a relatively low amount of fixed costs. I know that might seem a bit crazy to say, looking at the, the headquarters that we're sat in now, which is currently sort of useless for a few days, but for the size of the business, we have a low number of fixed costs. So that is manageable at the moment and we're quite comfortable with that. And we think we can sort of ride out this storm. The business itself is running pretty much as usual. There are new people that are joining the marketing team, which I'm currently managing uh, next week. So that's gonna be a, a very interesting week because they're gonna be joining the business, but sort of remotely. But we are making it work and we're in a fortunate position where Gymshark is a very, very agile business. At the moment, we've closed our London store. We've had to close that two weeks early wasn't ideal but again the priority for us is the safety in the, of the individuals both the staff and the visitors and the athletes obviously Steve Cook's launch was going to be there we have to prioritize safety at a time like this there is just too much uncertainty and for us we would rather take a hit to the revenue and to the bottom line and then maintain everyone's safety essentially so London stores closed the warehouses are running so we work with a brilliant company at the moment in uh, Belgium called Blechman. Blechman's warehouse has essentially been deemed a critical part of the economy to Belgium so that is staying open. Yeah. I wanted to take time just to mention a lot of the work that we're doing particularly in our distribution centres um, around the world and obviously the two metre social distancing is an absolute must that is a complete non-negotiable i'm really happy with the fact that we're in many ways leading the way in terms of the safety in our distribution centers we've actually made a decision a week ago to upgrade a lot of the international shipments that we're doing and, and what that does is it means that we don't have to have as many people on the distribution center floor shipping orders out and because obviously we make up the time in terms of a slower pick and pack we make up the time in the air in shipping the orders out so Again, we are doing everything we can to prioritise the safety of the staff and the Gymshark community in everything we do. At the moment, we've actually seen a lot of people looking for more sort of clothes that are probably more suitable and tailored for a home workout. So we've seen an influx in people buying those sort of sorts of products. And again, we want to support you on your journey to physical and mental health at home. And that's obviously a little bit different to working out in gyms. So at the moment, sales are doing good, although we, we are aware that this could be a long haul. This could go on for a month. It could go on for four months. We, we genuinely don't know. Overall business is running pretty much as usual. So if you order in the UK, the US, most of Europe, Australia and places like that, you probably won't notice too much a difference in terms of the service that you're getting from Gymshark. Again, I think that's testament to just how agile we are as a business. I've spoken in the past a lot about the sort of unique points of Gymshark and I've talked about the structure and the agility. And I think it really takes times like this for it to prove its worth as it were. If we were a much bigger business with a bunch of different stores and we were working with retailers and there was a lot more moving parts with a lot more fixed costs, it would be really, really, really difficult for us to maintain our business in a time when there's as much uncertainty and so much changing as there is at the moment. So just to finish up here, this is not good at all. Obviously, it is a pandemic. We need to be listening to the experts. We need to be listening to the WHO. We need to be listening to our governments and essentially doing as we're told because like myself, us here, we are not the experts in this. For the most part, we don't know really what we're talking about. So I think we just need to follow instruction. And I think if we do that, then long term, I'm sure it will be fine. Obviously, this will affect a lot of people, a lot of people's loved ones in the Gymshark community. And that's obviously just crap on so many levels. But at times like this, at time in times of hardship, I think it's so important that globally all of us as a community pull together and we support each other because it is going to be extremely tough and extremely stressful for everyone involved so if i could give you one piece of advice it would be to take care of yourself take care of your loved ones of your friends and of your wider community i think it's so important that people really pull together at a time like this and obviously however we can help you gymshark is here for you we have to pull together the last thing that i just want to mention as well is 
please everyone stay at home. It is so, so, so important that everyone is social distancing, not just some of us. It's so, so, so important. It's absolutely vital. So please, please, please stay at home um, and stay safe. And as always, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for supporting the Gymshark Vision.